Hello, hello, Jeff Helman here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. And today I want to show you a nice feature which is making calls from command. So calling your contacts and leads from within commands. Now, uh, right now we still don't have any third party um, applications like Mojo Dialer or those types of things that can integrate directly in commands. Um, so there's still some work to do on all of that, but you can, with some of your built-in tools, uh, make calls and such from within your command interface. So we're going to take a look at how we can do what we can do. Over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Contacts, and I'm going to go ahead and access any contact for the sake of this particular demo here. So we'll just pull up a, a number um, or a contact. And in this case, what I'm seeing is I have their, um, this would be the name, this is an auto text that came in, so it doesn't have a name attached to it, but um, here is the number. I can click on this phone number, and it gives me the option to either call or send text with Twilio. So if I have the Twilio integration, I can send the text um, out directly through the system using the Twilio integration. So for texting purposes, there is a third party, that's Twilio, that we can integrate directly into command. For calling purposes, we do not have that availability just yet. So the option when we call is that it's going to launch whatever your computer's calling device might be. So for example, I've got Skype as an option. So if I click call, it'll actually pop open my Skype integration and I would log in and make my phone call if that's how I want to do it. And when I'm done, well, before I get to that part, so that's the Skype integration, if uh, maybe I'm like I'm on a Mac and so maybe FaceTime is what I want to use, so it actually could launch my FaceTime uh, setting as well or my FaceTime application. So that's just a setting that you need to set up on the computer, what your default calling device is or calling program is. So that's done through, again, the settings. So if I wanted to use FaceTime, I'd actually open up FaceTime and I'd go to settings and I would say make default in, uh, in those settings. If I want to use Skype, same thing. I would go into Skype, I'd go into preferences and I would say make default. So whichever one you want to be the default for your computer, you can go ahead and click and set that up. Now, once I've actually made the call, what's really nice feature here is that it actually takes me right back to um, a screen where I can actually log the call. So it's a nice way to um, indicate what just happened, make my notes, do those types of things. So it's a, I think that's a really cool feature that they integrated here to make sure that we can record and document what happened so that when we go back to it. So it's not like we're making phone calls, you know, and then have to go back in and try to log all of that. It's a good chance that we would forget some of the details. So, um, you know, in this case, I might put left message, you call me back, uh, something like that. Um, has responded, that's the, the box that's supposed to kind of indicate that if you reached out to somebody that's on a smart plan that is meant to go until someone responds, then this is the way to help stop those smart plans automatically. There's only a couple of smart plans that allow us to do that right now, which is the eight by eight and the 10 days of pain. But um, but that's what that box does for us. And then I can go ahead and click add to timeline. Now, the other thing is, is if you haven't yet downloaded the command app, uh, the KW command app on your phone, then um, it does actually the same thing where you can push the, the phone number that shows up on in your command app and it will basically use your phone's calling. So, um, in this case, the calling and the texting in the command app is actually sent from the phone. So your actual phone number, your cell phone number, whereas the texting in here goes from Twilio, which is a separately assigned phone number. So there's still a little bit of, um, little bit off on those as far as the synchronicity and what we can and can't do, but that's all coming together really nicely, uh, making this a great way to easily contact your, your customers, whether it be on your computer, whether it be on your phone, and record the appropriate notes. So if you have any questions on that or need any help, by all means, please reach out to us at team at